20 new people join Girl Tribe just because of Destiny. Yeah. And so and, we're like, yeah, it's it's a, a it's just a crazy balancing act trying to orchestrate a clan getting everyone to play with everyone when it Yeah. You're and in most these of the small... girls are like the the comment you keep hearing is for how much fun we have at the tower together. Yeah. All of us just being random and just walking around and having fun. Mm-hmm. It's like we're all craving that to just go out and explore together and yeah, just not go have out to go in the crucible and, exactly and, and play. That's what I think. Destiny, the biggest downfall is to me is that I was wanting to go on this crazy adventure, just mm-hmm. flying around with our sparrows, being silly. Although I will say, I think there's a lot of room to expand. I, I hear they're going to do some free DLCs and things like that, and I think. You know, if they can just expand upon what they already have, I think it'll be really good. But right now, it's not great for, like, groups of people that want to play together. It's really hard. Yeah. But I do see, you know, and from playing Defiance, you know me, I I played so much Defiance. And that's an MMO. I mean, it is repetitive. I'm not going to lie. I play on Defiance. I would do the same things over and over and over and over. But Mm -hmm. I felt like the area in defiance was so much bigger i don't know yeah, i feel I, like i only played defiance a little but when i played it i felt like i was more part of a world right because you had so i mean i really felt like i was part of this world and in destiny i don't feel like i'm part of this world like when there's people walking around the tower mm-hmm. i don't really feel like because we're not fighting or oh, anything we can't talk to anybody either i have played you know all week I have yet to talk to one person that wasn't in my group. Yeah. I played soccer first. at the tower <laughs> with some random people. And I was well, like, yeah. this is beautiful, but yeah. goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I just hope they add some more to it. And I don't know. And I, I wish there was more to do with my clan, you know, our clan, yeah, not my clan. I you know a, what I mean? <laughs> but it's still fun. Like yeah. all the girls are fun to play with, but, um. Yeah, I've we've heard had an a interesting lot of theory. Yes, on on Destiny, and I I don't feel like it's a spoiler. And if it is, we'll delete it. So okay. Um, the theory is is that we think we are fighting the darkness, uh-huh. but we are the darkness basically. Because if you think of our names, like we're hunters, we're titans, we're warlocks, uh-huh. which are in some ways normally the bad guys. mm Hmm. And then you have your your knights. You're fighting and killing the knights and and the wizards. When normally, the wizards and you know the knights and everything are the good guys. Huh. So it was a really interesting article that really broke it down. And now, if and I only really knew what the whole theory of it, but I was like, what if we are the bad guys and we don't know it? Uh, well, if I knew more of what happened in the. St- story maybe i could expand upon that yeah that's i I think people are just really trying to find meaning in the the story so yeah coming up all these theories (laughs) on what it could be huh interesting yeah i uh i i sent out a message to all the girl tribe gaming girls and i was like hey do you guys have any questions you want us to ask on the, the podcast and nara girl she goes what was the story about (laughs) And she finished the game. Yeah. See, that's really bad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And a lot, that's what you hear. A lot of people are like, "So I have no idea what's going on." You're yeah. not alone, Nara. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people know what the heck's going on. I have heard the grimoire cards are just packed full of tons of information and backstory, and I want to be able to look at it, but they don't have an app on my Windows phone. So, mm. and it's hard. I tried doing it through their website, and it's just too hard to work. I was not. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> so. so if if, Dest- if Bungie announced that Destiny 2 is coming out, you know, in two, three years. They won't, though. They're saying this will last 10. Well, man, well, I hope they really, in those 10 years, they make some... Big changes. I, yeah, I think they're going to add a lot to the game. And by the way, those public events, did you get to do one? Yeah. I like those. I think they're fun. I mean, if there's somebody around me. Oh, I know. I had I had one where I was the only one there. Yeah, that's what happened. And I was like, woohoo. 
Ooh, it's so public, mean. yeah. Public but I guess they doubled the frequency of those because I'd only had three, I think, all week. And one yeah, of them, it glitched. That one that, you know, two mm-hmm. popped up, but it, I think there's a countdown. And I only mm-hmm. had like 40 seconds to get to the... you got to hurry. And like, I maybe I just need to run faster, but <laughs> I was running as fast as I could and I did not make it. Did you get on your sparrow? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was inside a t- tunnel and it said, no, no to Sparrow. I was oh, like, well, okay. can't run any faster. Oh, man. Well, anyways, I think overall, I think you and I are being extremely hard on the game. Yeah. No, definitely. But, I mean, I mean, it's I totally definitely. That I am being really nitpicky. And just being honest, that's the way I feel. Yeah. And it's still a game I think about when I'm at work. I'm thinking about it right now and I want to play it. Yeah. And I don't really know why I want to play it. Yeah, it was weird. Yesterday, I was playing all day. And then at one point, I was like, I'm bored of this. I'm just done. So I turned it off. I started playing Forza 5. You know, I'm just doing... And I'm going for this dumb, grindy achievement where I'm doing the same race over and over and over 25 times. And I'm thinking, this is fun. So then I switched back. And then I had a blast. I I played with Supa and, and... Somebody else. I don't know. We had a fun time, though. So, yeah, I, I'm totally there with you that it's fun. And it's, it it's is repetitive. Having a blast with the girls that, when we're playing. Mm-hmm. But I guess it's more so just I had all these high hopes of what I was hoping that Bungie would have done with the game. And maybe they will with DLC. Yeah. But, it would be so cool if they could just make something with even if the fire team just went to four. Something, and I guess like how they're handling matchmaking is interesting, how it's kind of we- gets getting weaved into your campaign. Mm, yeah. And in some ways, it's like, I wish that I could have that separate and build my my character for, you know, team, de- or not team deathmatch, but um, <laughs> you, you, you know Clash. what I'm saying. I wish I could Clash. have that character and my <laughs> other character. Oh, but hmm. see, I'm nitpicky, I guess. And well, you know, they're trying to blend that MMO thing. And that's what you it's weird. I don't know. It's just tough. They're trying different things. I guess it's like one of those things that um, you can't expect to get Halo 2 when it's been how many years? Right. And then the games change. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot with how they're weaving in multiplayer into your campaign i think you're gonna see that more and more and more yeah i mean i like that it's just not that i'm super social but i would like to be able to talk to somebody in the game like what if i didn't already have a bunch of friends how would you meet new people not that i'm super popular but you know what i mean like oh you are super popular yeah i I get it it's just it's all these little things and you would think that at least, up, yeah, like, you'd almost think they'd have, like, a little chat window or something in the tower. So, like, if you want to party up with someone, you could meet someone. And they'd be like, hey, I'm going to go do a strike. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, it's some, I guess it's, like, all the things that PC gamers, like, have that console yeah. gamers are, like, craving. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they did it on, you know, the 360 with Destiny. So I mean, Defiance. Yeah, see, Defiance. Although, you know, like I said, Defiance super buggy. Like, this game is solid. Like, I I have not run into that many problems. Yeah. Defiance is Defiance is what I was hoping Destiny would, would make work. Yeah, it's like it, if they could have just taken some of the more some more of the elements from the MMO world and brought them in, I think. Mhm. But but whatever. all in all, like I'm trying to go back to be positive with the game. Yeah, I'm like I'll, I'm going to be playing it tonight. I'm sure. No, I'm I'm looking at the time right now. I'm like, all right, if we end the podcast at this time, I can get ready. Yeah, and I can play a little bit of Destiny because I I I you know we keep hearing about the story not being mm-hmm. great, but it's like last we- night when I was playing, I was like, the story's getting better. I'm 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 wondering what's going to happen. That's the thing. Like, I don't know if I understood what exactly happened. I guess I just need to go read someone's summary, explain it to me, because <laughs> clearly I did not get it all. But the cutscenes that were there, man, they were so cool. 
Like, yeah, the game is beautiful. Like, yeah. if you just, like, when I was playing last night, I just, like, stopped because I was tired of killing yeah. bad guys over and over again. I stopped and looked at the horizon. Yeah, it's like, and oh. I was like, holy smokes, this is beautiful. Yeah, totally. So, okay, so I know this is pretty much all you've played all week, which actually it's all I've played except for a little Forza, but have you played on your phone this week? Your mobile? No, but it, <gasps> I do want, let's, on a scale of one to ten, okay. ten being great, uh-huh. let's both rate Destiny. Destiny. Oh, okay, just like a regular overall game. Yeah, because I'm just curious. Mm, honestly. With everything we've just said. I would probably rate it an eight. I would what rate was... it. I'm I'm trying to think like six point five or seven. Oh, we'll seven! Ouch! Wow! And see, I thought my eight was you know, harsh. I feel bad. Well, you know what? I think in a co- I think as we play more, our review score might go up because yeah, let's, like. I, like I said, I'm only like nine hours in, level four. I know, you are a baby. Right now, it's like a seven-ish. The more Let's I... see what next week is. Yeah, it's like the more I play, the more I like it. That's... I, hope I can get it up to like a number eight. But, but we'll it, it does get repetitive, though. You know what I mean? Like, how many times am I going to go through this? Because you want to um, build up your... Uh, oh, what's the word? Like your rep at these vendors. And so... You have to do some repetitive tasks, you know. Do take, we'll do make good use of the bounties, though. Then it'll be, it'll be good. Yeah, those are fun. Yeah. Okay, you were talking about mobile. Yes. I have still only been playing Ninety Nine Bricks and uh-huh. loving it. I'm addicted to that game. Was that the one you talked about last time? Yeah, the Tetrisy type. Oh, game where you're stacking the Tetris bricks and yeah. trying not to make it tumble. Oh, so, okay. Really good game. How about you? Well, you know, I'm, I've am still been playing a lot of the same games. By the way, in the progress of my Sims free play game, you know, the game that I vowed to get all the achievements without spending any money, mm-hmm. I just got a huge achieve- achievement last mm-hmm. week. It was a big moment. I think I even tweeted about it. But, Did you stand up and, like, cheer to yourself? Like, well, Yay! I went, Yes! You know, like <laughs> fist, you know, did a fist pump. I was so excited. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now I just have one more achievement and then I'm going to have to uninstall and reinstall because there was a glitched achievement about baking these dang brownies. So I have to go back and get baked five things of brownies or something. But oh my God. I'm so I don't close. even bake in real life. I'm not going to bake in a video game. You don't have to bake. You just tap, tap. You say, Sim, go bake. But uh, well, I started playing today. Um, so, uh, you know, the Age of Empires series. Are you familiar? Mm-hmm. So Age of Empires Castle, Sie- Ugh. Castle Siege came out today. And it's out on uh, Windows Phone, uh, you know, Windows 8.1 for tablet and PC. So it's on everything. And it's Xbox Live enabled. And you can have alliances. So I made a girl tribe gaming alliance that no one's in yet but me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even Supa? Come on, Supa. Where's she doesn't play she doesn't play games like that. She doesn't do but I, I know we'll get some people to help me. But uh anyways, it's you know, it's that top down view kind of yeah. kind of like a farmville look, you know what I mean? Like that you have to like grow basically you grow all these resources and then you build soldiers in your castle and you level everything up and then you go attack people and then they okay, attack that's you. Okay, I was going to say where's the the fighting? Yeah. So there's lots of attacking and things that went on but right now I'm just building up. But uh so far it's good. Um it's free. So, you know, of course, you could buy gold and level up everything faster. But Mm-mm. that, that, no, I don't do that. If it's free to play, I will do everything I can to complete the game without spending any money. Waking up at three o'clock in the morning and five o'clock in the morning just to spend your gold. Hey, I've done stuff like that before. <laughs> I used to do that during the Sim Sims tapped out. Um, I'm still clean. 
Haven't played Simpsons Tapped Out in months. I know. And they even had a game update, I heard. I know. I saw it. <gasps> it was like a Facebook ad. Uh-huh. And I was like this close downloading it. And I said, no, Zen. I almost. Just say no. Yeah, I almost. Tim- 